Hello everyone, welcome back in the shed. This is not a normal shipping night. Um, I wasn't planning on shipping stuff tonight, but um, we had an expedited order over on Amazon and I figured since I was out here and my wife had already pulled almost everything for the day, um, I'd go ahead and go through a few small things that sold. Um, and one of the reasons is for these things is video game related and the other one is a DVD set or Blu-ray set I should say. So I'm just going to go over these few and pack them up and send them out tomorrow and I will add this to another day. But um, we're going to start out with an item that sold on Mercari. That item is this season one through six Big Bang Theory Blu-ray set. Um, and it is a pre-owned set. It sold for $15 and I think that's with free shipping. Free shipping, 15 bucks. I don't know what we paid for it. It's not in the custom SKU, but I'm thinking a dollar or two probably. Over on eBay, I have this item right here. Um, and this was a GameCube console that I purchased, and I can't remember, I bought so many of these things, I can't remember. I think I purchased this one from a fella with a bunch of games and like three or four controllers, and I don't know, I don't, I don't even remember. I don't remember what I paid. It could have been a hundred bucks. It could have been 60 bucks. I don't know y'all, but this is a working console and I was keeping this for myself so I could test stuff. But, um, I've said it before in some other footage that I decided that I was going to get rid of this GameCube because I can test GameCube games and controllers with my, uh, Wii that I have in the house. So I'm getting rid of this, but I'm keeping the, uh, the cables that came with it and the power supply because if i find another one of these it's just this and i have found just a console at a uh, yard sale before so if i find just a console i'll be able to test it because i still have a controller and the cables for it but y'all this right here sold for 59.99 with free shipping over on ebay um Pretty much any of these black ones right here will sell for about $60 shipped on eBay or Macquarie. Um, you just had to make sure it works. And if you get one that doesn't work, you can still get $30 to $35 for that one. So if you see one of those things at a yard sale or a thrift store for like five bucks or something not tested, don't worry about it. Just bring the thing home and list it untested and you'll get $30 to $35 for it. Then we have another one of our games that we had in the house um, that I just happened to be looking on the shelf and saw it. Um, and, and this goes along with our Wii. We saw Wii Sports Resort the other day, and now we have Wii Sports. And it sold for $24.98 with free shipping, and it is the cardboard sleeve, the disc, and the manual. Then we have an Xbox game, and this is also a complete in-box. Um, it has the manual, the disc, and the case, and this has been tested and working, and it sold for $11.20 with free shipping. And now, the really good one. My wife went and met a lady for a Facebook Marketplace item yesterday afternoon after work, um, somewhere around between 5.30 and 6 p.m. And uh, she came home and I listed this game right here. It's a Nintendo Switch game, brand new and sealed. It's the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection is what it's called. And she paid $10 for this game right here. And I was doing a little like how-to video in here that y'all will probably see before this. And I, I talked about this and we listed it on, on video for $44.99. Well, in less than 12 hours, y'all, it sold. $44.99. And this is an expedited order. Um, that means that the buyer is paying an extra fee um, 
to get it faster. Now they are in California. I looked earlier, they are in California and they're giving me five days to get it there. Um, I would have to pay shipping normally of around $4 for that. Um, and sometimes I had to pay a little more. I had to pay priority shipping to get it to California on time. But seeing how it's expedited, I haven't looked to see what they are paying for shipping. So I can take whatever I was going to pay for shipping and whatever they were going to pay for shipping. I can probably do it today if I wanted to. Okay, so the buyer paid $9.10 to ensure that it gets to them on time. All right, so normally I would be paying about $4 to ship it. So that allows me like $13 to ship this thing out and get it to them on time. Well, I just went over and looked at my uh, Amazon seller page and I put in, you know, what it, what it would weigh and the size and everything, the dimensions. And it says I can ship that in a flat rate bubble mailer for $8.50. So y'all, I'm actually going to make money off of the shipping over on Amazon. Not much, like just a few cent, but um, that was an awesome turnout. Um, it doesn't always happen that way. Um, sometimes you, you have to ship something to California and it costs you five or six extra bucks, but I cannot argue with that. I can package that thing up really good. Um, I can put it in a cardboard sleeve if I want to and send it out of here. But I'm hopeful that they won't get that game and open it up and play it and then send it back to me. Um, I just did a video where somebody did that with a Nintendo DS game. But anyways, I'm going to shut my mouth and when I black out and come back, it will be the next shipping day and we'll see what sells then. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Back in the shed yet again for another day of orders to be shipped out of here. Um, this is actually a couple of days. We have, I believe it's 24 orders going out of here for $633. And out of those 24 orders, y'all, 11 of them are actually video game related. Um, but one of them you're probably not going to believe. And... We'll get to it in a minute. All right, y'all, the first item up. If you were growing up in the late 70s and mid 80s, you will probably remember this if you had a Nintendo Entertainment System. Maybe you were one of the kids that was lucky enough to have one of these, maybe not. I was not. I never had one of these, but I had a friend that had one, and this thing was awesome. And it is a Game Genie. Genie. This is the video game enhancer from Galoob. How about that? I don't remember what year this was. 1990 and 91. So, you know, if you were born in the late 70s or sometime in the 80s, you probably played on one of these things right here. But um, I picked this up in a large lot. I bought a Nintendo Entertainment System from a fella on Facebook Marketplace, met up with him, gave him a hundred bucks, got the whole system with like five controllers and a zapper gun, and I think it was like 14 or 15 games. Paid a hundred bucks for all that, y'all. And <clears throat> that Game Genie right there sold for $39 over on Macari. So that's the first of our 11 items that are video game sales. They have sold yesterday and today. And like I said, that one's on Mercari. I met a lady that had a Wii bundle, for, and I don't remember how many games there were, y'all. She had she had 14 or 15 games also, I think. Man, it, she had like four controllers, two nunchucks, a uh, uh, Mario Kart wheel, and the whole console. $50 is what I paid for it. And right here, I put a bundle of two controllers and two nunchucks together. Um, all have been tested and work. And these right here sold for $36. And like I said, that was a $50 purchase for that whole system. And that's $36 in my hand right there. Now, obviously, I'm not going to get $36 for it. Um, you know, I got to pay shipping and there's a fee. And that thing weighs 15.3 ounces. So it's definitely going to ship um, either priority mail or parcel select, however I want to do it. Um, I'm just guessing somewhere around 7 or $8 for the shipping. And then Mercari's going to take their fee. I'm still going to, I don't know, I'm still going to make $25 on it, I'd say. So there's the second of our 11 video game sales. 
And the next one is a fairly big one. Um, I picked this thing up from a fella and I think this console came with three controllers and four games. And I believe we've sold all the games now. Um, and I actually made the money back on the games, really. Yeah, I think all those games are gone. There were, um, like Super Mario, Super Smash Brothers, and, um, yeah, we sold all those games. It was Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, uh, 64, something else, and, uh, Z Zelda Majora's Mask. So we sold all of those, and we've already paid, we've already paid for that console that I bought. Um, and y'all, we sold the console. And here it is right here. Um, it came with two of these green controllers. And these are aftermarket ones. And it came with an original Nintendo 64 controller. And I kept that one. Um, and the controller works great. It's actually got a memory card in it. Um, the, not expansion pack. I can't think of what you call the thing in there, but the pack is in there, and of course it's got the cables with it, and it's a pretty good condition in 64. It's got a little bit of scratching on it, but um, like I said, I've already got my money back from the games and stuff on this, but that piece right there, y'all, sold for $107. Plus, I believe it was $13 shipping they paid over on Mercari. It's going to go out UPS. And then we had a game sell over on Mercari. And this is, I believe this is an Xbox One game or an original Xbox game. And, yep, it is... Halo Combat Evolved. There is no manual with this, and there is no artwork on the outside of it. So it's just a just a regular old case and the game. That right there sold for ten dollars free shipping on Mercari. So there's one, two, three, four of our eleven video game items right there. And now we're going to cover an item that is not one of our video game items. But I'm trying to go down my list on Mercari and then we're going to flip it over to eBay. But um, this item right here was a yard sale pickup. And I, I, think I, gave, I think I gave that girl like two or three dollars. And she actually had two of these. And I sold one of these a long time ago. Actually, I think we sold it on Amazon. But this one sold over on Mercari. <clears throat> it is a... WWE Superstar Ring. And this thing's got like a little spring-loaded mat to it. But anyways, she had two of them. Uh, the kid, their kids had got them for Christmas. And they still had a little bit of wrapping paper with tape attached to them when I got them. But um, I, like I said, I think I paid 2 or $3 for each one of them. And that one there sold for $22. And I believe this is my last item over there on Mercari. And... I've had this one for a while. I paid $10 for this thing at um, at a Goodwill, a local Goodwill, and I'm glad to see it go because every time I go to pull one of our book bags out when we sell them, it, it's sitting on top of that tote and I have to move it. So let me get this thing up and then I'll be right back. I don't know how good this is going to show up. My lighting's not that great over here. But it is a Jack Pacific. 31 inch tall Darth Vader um, and this thing does articulate some the legs move the arms move and I think the head moves a little bit but um and I think I think that was 2013 I believe it was um, these things did come with I think some of them came with like a little lightsaber holder on the side this one does not have it and some of these um, one of the models had like a voice box in it this one does not have that but um i paid ten dollars for this guy at a goodwill it does have a little bit of scratching on him but i documented all that in the pictures i put up 10 11 pictures or so on this thing and like i said i've had it for a while y'all i probably wouldn't buy this again but he did sell for $31, and the buyer is paying the UPS shipping for that. Um, I'm going to have to get a little creative with a box, but hey, I just packed up an Electrolux vacuum not too long ago and shipped it out, so shouldn't have any issues boxing up Vader. All right, here is an estate sale find. This is a very small estate sale we went to. 
Um, these are refrigerator magnets, y'all. And this right here is an Acme spray iron. That thing's pretty cool. Um, these are vintage, vintage items here. Um, this is a little coffee maker. There's an Acme blender. And then this is an Inesco from 1987. It's a little washboard. And we have like a dollar in these things right here, y'all. And they sold for $19.88. And the buyer is paying shipping. Y'all, don't sleep on this small stuff. Just because it's small doesn't mean it sells for a small price. You know, you would probably look at that and think, you know, $10 shipped. But amazingly, y'all, $19.88 and the buyer is paying the first class shipping on it. Here we have yet another video game this is Wii Sports and this one right here I got in a marketplace bundle I bought a bunch of stuff from a guy for like $165 and this is one of the games that was in there and it is Wii Sports it does have a little bit of staining on the cardboard sleeve and I put that in there you know I tried to get that off I tried it with um with some goo gone i tried it with a dry uh, dry eraser <laughs> i tried it with the magic eraser and i couldn't get it off and i put all that in the listing and that right there sold for 23 dollars and 98 cents so there's one two three four number five video game item going out tomorrow this next one here is a Walmart find. Um, we bought these pills right here a while back. Let's see, the date on it is 8-24-22. So, I don't know, somewhere around four months ago, I guess we bought these things. This is called, this is from Body, Body Dynamics. <laughs> it's called Slim Vance. There's 60 capsules in here. Pay 10 bucks for it. And it sold for $26.99. I think we had like three boxes of this and we sold two of them in a lot together a while back. And then that one sold today. This item right here, y'all. Um, I, I listed this thing originally on uh, eBay and it got taken down and i don't remember why i think it was something about something about having cuba in the title they they took it down i i don't remember it, it may have been because i put that it was made in cuba i don't know but anyways this is an ashtray y'all from the cohiba brand and from my understanding it that um cohiba i guess they make cigars but anyways this thing is in great condition y'all I picked it up, I believe, at a thrift store, and it was like a year ago. And I've been waiting for this thing to sell, and I've dropped the price, I've taken the shipping off, done all kinds of stuff. And it sold finally for $29.95. I think I had four or five bucks in that. Um, won't make the mistake of buying that again unless I get it really cheap. And here is another video game, y'all. Um, I believe this one we picked up when we were in Pennsylvania. I bought two Xbox 360s, and I'm pretty sure this game was one of the games that came with them. Um, it is Civil War Secret Missions. And this is uh, some, has something to do with the History Channel. I'm not exactly sure, but... It is the game and the case with the artwork. There is no manual in it. And it sold for $12.98 with free shipping. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six items that are video game items. Now, this next one I paid a dollar for. And this is not a video game item, y'all. This, this is an item that I try to pick up whenever I see them. Um, whether it's a thrift store or a yard sale or a state sale or whatever, if they are priced right. It is a Revereware saucepan. And you will notice that this thing is pretty shiny, y'all. I mean, even that copper on the bottom of it is shining pretty good. Now, when I got this thing, the bottom of this was almost black. And the sides of it were kind of foggy and dull looking. And you'll see I've got a, I got a post-it note with a B in there. That is how I did my custom skew. I just put B in the uh, custom skew and I put this in there so I would know I had the right one. 
Um, this thing right here, y'all, sold for $10.99, and the buyer is paying the priority shipping. Now, how did I get that thing that clean right there, y'all? It's a product called Barkeeper's Friend, and if you will look down in my videos on my channel, you will um, see that I did a how-to video on cleaning these things up. So, if you're interested in that, go down there and check it out, y'all. Next up is another video game item. Um, it is an accessory and a video game in one. I lotted these two together. Um, and this right here, if you grew up with an NES system, then uh, you loved this thing and hated this thing at the same time. It is Super Mario Brothers, the original Mario Brothers, and Duck Hunt. And I have lotted with it a good working zapper this right here came in that same lot that that game genie back there came in so you know i, I think i got like 39 dollars for that and then this right here sold for 34.95 with free shipping y'all <clears throat> so between those two items i mean that puts us at what 74 dollars and then i gotta take shipping out of it but y'all I only paid the guy a hundred bucks for the whole thing and I still have the system and like 12 or 13 other games. And next up is this right here. This is a Nintendo Entertainment System RF switch slash modulator. Um, this thing has been tested. It is known to be working. And this did not come from that same lot. This came from another Nintendo uh, console that I bought. And the console did not work properly. So I'm selling that for parts. And I'm selling this as a working unit. This right here sold for $11.99. And the buyer is paying the... Uh, first class shipping on that so what are we up to one two three four five six seven of our 11 video game items now this next one um y'all ain't gonna believe this one <laughs> you might if you if you've been a reseller for long you might believe this one but my wife bought me an xbox series x for christmas this year Thank you, Tristan, if you ever watch this video. I'm loving it so far. I've been able to play some Call of Duty, some Fortnite. My daughter um, is loving playing Roblox on this thing. Um, and I really am enjoying it. So I appreciate her getting that for me. It was a big step up for my PS3 I was playing. But I'm going to grab this thing and show it to y'all. And y'all, it's hard for me to believe that this item right here sold for $38.99. So my wife bought me that Xbox and she bought me a couple of games with it. And um, uh, I went out and bought another game or two. And, you know, I, I got to thinking about it and I was like, I wonder if I could sell like the manuals that come with this or anything. So I started looking around on eBay and I was surprised to see what was selling. And oh, I sold something else. Man, I'm glad I sold that item. That's a Christmas item, y'all. And I have not put it in the attic yet. Um, stuff like that I put in the attic. That that way I don't have to, it's not in my way until around Christmas time when most time that stuff sells. But I'm going to grab that in a minute to show y'all because that's an awesome sale. And I picked it up on that latest trip we took to Pennsylvania. And it's in the video that I've not finished editing yet. But anyways, y'all ain't going to believe what sold. This right here is the box that my Xbox Series X came in, right? Well, you know, those things cost like $500. Thank you again, Tristan, for buying that for me. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. But this box right here, y'all, this is an empty box. It does have the styrofoam, all the original like um, covers and stuff that were in there, the manual, all that stuff's in there. And this right here sold for $38.99. Now I have to put it in another box and ship it. But y'all, if it cost me $10 or $12 to ship this UPS, I'm fine with that. Because it didn't cost me a dime. Number eight on our video game accessory list that's going out tomorrow. Next up, we have an item I bought on Whatnot quite a while ago. And I've had this and a couple of other ones sitting up on my display shelf up here. And y'all... 
I think I have like two dollars in this. Um, I would have paid like a buck for it, and then the shipping was a dollar. Now shipping's gone up on whatnot now. Just, you can't get stuff like that. Before, um, you could pay a dollar for an item, and your first item you bought with them, you might pay like four dollars or four fifty for the shipping, and then every item you bought in that auction after that, you paid one more dollar for shipping. Well, it's not quite like that anymore. But um, this right here is a Star Wars Stormtrooper from 1995. It's still sealed in the blister pack and the card is in really good condition on this thing right here, y'all. Um, it sold for $13.25 with free shipping. And here is something I lotted together. Um, I had a, a extra Mario Kart wheel sitting around in the house. And I, I lotted it with this Mario Kart game because I didn't have a manual or a case or anything to go with it. So I figured I might could squeeze a little bit more money out of it if I put a wheel with it. Um, and this right here sold for $29.95. And I have another wheel up here. So the next time I get a Mario Kart, I'm, I'm going to put that with it also. If I don't have the case or manual or anything with it like this one right here. So there's yet another one of our video game items going out tomorrow. I am glad to see this thing right here sale. I have a whole bunch of these guys right here, y'all. This is a Funko Pop Transformer Shockwave. We paid, it says $10.49, but we didn't pay that for it. I think we paid like $3 for these things at Target um, sometime last year. And even though it is a 2021 Summer Convention Limited Edition, it's still not worth much. They were selling much higher. And I think what happened is um, everybody went to Target that knew about this, uh, this clearance and they bought them up and listed them on eBay and drove the price down. And that can definitely happen. Um, if you if you subscribe to a site called BrickSeek.com, and I've talked about that on the channel before, um, you'll get notified of huge discounts and deals in your area, whether it be at uh, Sam's Club or Walmart or Target, places like that. And what happens is a lot of people, a lot of resellers will run out and buy that stuff up and then they'll throw it up on Amazon or eBay and the prices just tank on that stuff, y'all, especially on Amazon. But I bought that thinking I could possibly sell it on Amazon. But however, I am gated in Funko Pops. I cannot list any Funko Pops up there. So I put them on eBay and I think this, this might be the first one we've sold, y'all. And it sold for $19.20. Like I said, we only had like three bucks in it. So we're still going to make money, but it's just a long tail item that's been sitting around here way too long. Here's a pretty good one right here. I picked this up at a church rummage sale. Um, and it's a Bubba Keg 52. This is a kind of like a pink one. I got a, I have a green one also. And I paid a dollar for this thing right here at that church rummage sale. And it sold for $11.16. And the buyer is actually paying more for the shipping than they did the item. The shipping is $12.75 on that, y'all. And finally, our last video game sale going out tomorrow. This is the Xbox Original GoldenEye Rogue Agent. And this one right here is the case, the game, and it has the manual in it. And of course, it has the artwork on it. It, has, it still has a pre-owned sticker on it too. But this right here, y'all, sold for $9.98 with free shipping on eBay. So that's the last of our video game sales. Now we got some other stuff here too. Um, this right here is a shirt that, I don't know, this may have been my wife's shirt, I don't remember. But this shirt right here sold for $12 and the buyer is paying the first class shipping on that. That's awesome. This right here 
my wife picked up two of these at a thrift store a while back pretty sure it was a thrift store but um this little bear along with the other one it, they say if you press the little button they say a little prayer like a bedtime prayer and i don't know what she paid for it probably like a dollar and it sold for twelve dollars free shipping and that's an easy shipper we just throw it in a poly bag and send it out first class then we have this lot of uniform skirts right here i think there's two two blue and two khaki these are my daughter's skirts that she wore at school and she's outgrown them and like you see she, my wife put skirt lot number three and that is our custom skew in there that's how we keep up with things y'all if you see right there it says um berkeley skirt lot number three so and like i said they were just sitting around the house and why not sell them fifteen dollars and the buyer is paying ten dollars and twenty cent shipping for those right there awesome little sale and last but not least are these jogger pants right here y'all these are nightmare before christmas and it looks like they got sally i think jack's up there too somewhere yeah jack and sally up there she paid a dollar for these right here y'all and they sold for 16 dollars 96 with free shipping y'all look out in your uh, clothing sections at walmart for those yellow tags you never know how cheap you're going to find something hope y'all enjoyed the footage tonight um that was a lot of video game stuff going out of here that's the most video games and accessories i've sold in two days since i've been selling on ebay and mercari um and that's gonna put some money back in our pocket so we can spend some more well i had to go in the house to get this from right here um this is the one that sold while i was making the video this right here came from a thrift store I think it was called like crater road thrift or something like that but the price tag on it was eight dollars i believe and all of their christmas stuff was 50 percent off so we got it for like four bucks well it did not have one of these lights in there with it so i took one of these lights i got for half off at walmart um the day after christmas and lighted it in with it and this thing actually had like four or five different farm animals in it that did not come with this set i listed it all together and y'all this thing right here is in really really good condition there's um this thing is in really good condition there's no like breaks or chips or anything wrong with it i don't know if the lighting's better with or without that light right there i think it's too much of a glare with that light on but y'all ain't gonna believe what this thing sold for the person is paying some crazy shipping for this right here and there's no way possible that it's gonna cost me that much to ship it y'all this thing right here sold for 39 dollars and 99 cent right so i've got what four i've got close to six dollars in that thing it sold for 39 dollars and 99 cent the buyer is paying forty dollars and thirty cent for that thing um i i got to look in here to see if i can figure out where this is going to it is going to valley ford washington so it is going to washington state um you know i'm here in north carolina so this thing's got to go a long ways but the only thing i can figure is they are a long way from town or something and like i said they're paying a ridiculous amount of money for that shipping i'm curious to see how much it's going to cost me to ship it let's find out i, I can't believe they're paying 40 dollars for shipping that is just that is just insane to me y'all it says if i ship it priority it's going to be 32 dollars and two cents so right there i would make like eight dollars on the shipping if i just do it priority now if i change this over to ups ground y'all y'all ain't gonna believe this ups ground is 18 dollars and 76 cent is that not crazy they paid 40 dollars and 30 cent and i can pay 1876 for ups and um fedex is 2309 so what i'm probably going to do here is i'm probably 
I might give them 20 bucks back. I'm sure they would love that. Um, and I'm going to slip one of my cards in there. You know, I'm going to give them 20 bucks back. And I'm going to slip one of these flipping for funds uh, cards in there. I put some of these in there occasionally. Um, I don't put them in every package. But on the back it says, thank you so much for supporting our small business. And of course on the front it has, you know, find us on eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and YouTube. And <clears throat> of course it has our little flipping for funds logo that I created up there. And I will sign the back of it. So it'll give a little bit of a personalized touch. But also, giving them $20 back on shipping, they are going to love that, y'all. Might become a repeat buyer, and they might become a, a subscriber and watcher to this channel because I gave them a great deal. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. All right, let's finish this thing out. So, so in case there's anybody wondering how in the world are you going to ship a 31-inch tall uh, Darth Vader... Here's what I'm doing. I took his cloaks and I wrapped them in this stretch wrap. I took each foot, put a little bubble wrap on it. Each arm put a little bubble wrap on it. And I am fashioning this box right here and I will show you what I'm doing with it. All right, coming right along. I just cut a little hole out in the top and slipped them in there. And I'm gonna have to uh, put some packing material in here obviously, but um, we're moving right along. All right, so I've used a bunch of bags, a little bit of paper, and some newspaper and stuff, and got all that packed up. We're going to close this part up, and then we're going to fashion the top of it. And there he is, y'all. He's a little odd looking. I had to put two boxes together, and I used a lot of recycled material inside this thing that didn't cost me a dime. I mean, most of the stuff I put in there was old newspaper and just like Walmart, Dollar General, belt bag, stuff like that. But there it is. Slap a label on it and I will be dropping it off at UPS tomorrow. Well, I had to go in the house to get this one right here. Um, this is the one that sold while I was making the video. This right here came from a thrift store. I think it was called like Crater Road Thrift or something like that. But the price tag on it was $8, I believe. And all of their Christmas stuff was 50% off. So we got it for like four bucks. Well, it did not have one of these lights in there with it. So I took one of these lights I got for half off at Walmart um, the day after Christmas and lighted it in with it. And this thing actually had like four or five different farm animals in it that did not come with this set. I listed it all together. And y'all, this thing right here is in really, really good condition. There's, um, this thing is in really good condition. There's no like breaks or chips or anything wrong with it. I don't know if the lighting's better with or without that light right there. I think it's too much of a glare with that light on. <clears throat> but y'all ain't gonna believe what this thing sold for. The person is paying some crazy shipping for this right here. And there's no way possible that it's gonna cost me that much to ship it. Y'all, this thing right here sold for $39.99, right? So I've got, what, four? I've got close to $6 in that thing. It sold for $39.99. The buyer is paying $40.30 for that thing. Um, I, I got to look in here to see if I can figure out where this is going to. 
it is going to Valley Ford, Washington. So it is going to Washington State. Um, you know, I'm here in North Carolina, so this thing's got to go a long ways. But the only thing I can figure is they are a long way from town or something. And like I said, they're paying a ridiculous amount of money for that shipping. I'm curious to see how much it's going to cost me to ship it. Let's find out. I can't believe they're paying forty dollars for shipping. That is just that is just insane to me, y'all. <clears throat> All right, so they are paying forty dollars and thirty cent. It says if I ship it priority, it's going to be $32.02. So right there, I would make like $8 on the shipping if I just do it priority. Now, if I change this over to UPS Ground, y'all, y'all ain't going to believe this. UPS Ground is $18.76. Is that not crazy? They paid forty dollars and thirty cent, and I can pay eighteen seventy six for UPS, and um, FedEx is twenty three oh nine. So what I'm probably going to do here is I'm probably I might give them twenty bucks back. I'm sure they would love that, um, and I'm gonna slip one of my cards in there. You know, I'm gonna give them twenty bucks back. And I'm going to slip one of these flipping for funds uh, cards in there. I put some of these in there occasionally. Um, I don't put them in every package. But on the back it says, thank you so much for supporting our small business. And of course on the front it has, you know, find us on eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and YouTube. And <clears throat> of course it has our little flipping for funds logo that I created up there. And I will sign the back of it. So it'll give a little bit of a personalized touch. But also, giving them $20 back on shipping, they are going to love that, y'all. Might become a repeat buyer, and they might become a, <clears throat> a subscriber and watcher to this channel because I gave them a great deal. I don't know, but I'm going to try it. All right, let's finish this thing out.